today I'm gonna teach you multiplication to cut fingers and draw some things on. And if you see on this finger, it has six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the other finger too. So we might need them. So look at this. So I have I ha I have to to multiply something that is super hard like 6 times 6 like 7 times 7 so we're gonna start with a basic like 8 times 8 so let's fold the the the, the fingers that needs to be 8 so we have to do this 6 this is 6 7 8 so I have to fold 3 of them because it represents 7 8 7 and 6 so we have to fold them and the other two let's fold it and the remaining like 9 and 10 over here 9 and 10 that is the ones you have to multiply the ones so how much is this 3 times 3 plus 3 is 6 so we have 60 because it, these represent the tens and 2 times 2, we have 2 times these. So why did I say that? Because we have 2 times these 2, like 9 and 10. So we have 2 times those. 2 times 2 equals 4. And this is all 60. So this the answer is 64. So let's give another answer. Question. Shall, question, shall we? So the question is 9 times 9 now. So we have to fold the 9, also the 8, also the 7, and also the 6. See, Kui one, you know what, how this goes now? So I'm going to give you a, a question for you later. So you have to answer truthfully. Don't, don't do it with your parents. So, you know these are the the four the four things so you have to times you have to plus these and time these remainings two of the tens and you have to plus these you know why because these are the tens so ten so this is gonna be four times four plus four is it's eight so this is eighty and more times one is one so it's 81 nine times nine is 81 okay one this will help you easier to to do this and getting smarter so please do this because this is super helpful like even it is helping me to study to multiply by six to ten so bye. okay bye bye Today I'm gonna teach you multiplying tricks from six, seven, eight, nine, ten tricks. Multiply ten table six to table ten. So this trick is kind of easy. What you gotta do is just put your hands right here, and if someone tells you a question, you'll just use it like this. So. Example, someone told me what is 6 times 6. So what you gotta do is put it right here. So the, you have to stick it together. This repent, the, the two, this represents the, 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 and the odd thing is a remaining the the ones mm. so this is the tens go to the six first and this is a two right and this makes ten twenty because this is the ten so the remaining part you have to times it it's four times four is sixteen so twenty plus sixteen you don't have to times the sixteen so you have to to addition it so 20 plus 16 equals, um, 
36. 36. So, 6 times 6 is? 36. How about 7 times 7? How about 7 times 7? Hmm. So, we have to add them, remember? And you will get your? You will get your 10 first. Seven. And look at the remaining. Hmm. It's the same. It's 3 and 3. Hmm. So, we have to do the 10. And this makes 40 and 4 for short. So, the remaining three of the time, this is, mm. makes nine. Mm. Three times three is nine. Mm. So, this, the answer is 49. Do you get it, Kuyo Do you get it, Kuyo Wan? Later, we're gonna, I'm going to have you a quiz. You have to write it down in your pad with a pencil. If you make a mistake, you could write, you could, you could erase it if you want. You could take your time. And here's the questions. Six times six. You have to answer it. I'm going to give you a little quiz. You could practice this at home, whatever your mom says. But you have to do the time so you could use it with your hands. Also, it can go up to ten. If you already know the ten, I'm going to example it. I see you, Alina. I'll see you, play one. And remember, it goes in your mind. Okay, love you. Hey, one. I love you.